Every new fireworks document that you create will have a page, a layer, and a state. As you start to develop and design your project in fireworks, you'll do so by putting together pages using layers and adding effects or animation using states. In this lesson, we're going to focus on the very basic skills you need to work with the pages, layers, and states. The information you learn here will become the foundation that we build on throughout the rest of the course. We'll talk about creating and importing pages, working with layers and the objects contained in the layers, and how states work, as well as how to create a new state for a layer. If you look at the fireworks document that we created in the last lesson, it looks fairly simple. It's just a blank page. What's more, it's only one page, as we can tell by looking in the upper right-hand corner of the work area. You can add multiple pages to any document that you create. These pages can house different designs. They can also have different dimensions and resolutions. To add a new page, go to the Pages panel. Click the Menu Options button in the upper right-hand corner and then select New Page. You can switch between pages in the work area by clicking on the page in the Pages panel or by going to the work area and selecting the page. In the upper left-hand corner of the work area, you can choose to preview a page. You can also view all the pages in the document two at a time, which is two up, or four at a time, which is four up. We learned how to open a new document that contains a page in the last lesson, and we just learned how to add new pages to a document. Now let's learn how to import pages. Importing a page in Fireworks means that you're importing another PNG file into your current document. If the PNG file has one page, you'll import that one page. To import pages, go to File, Import. Locate the PNG file on your computer and then click on it to select it and click Open. You'll then see the Import Page dialog box. By default, this shows the page in the document you're going to insert first. You can click the Next button to view and select the next page in the document. The artwork from imported pages will be inserted into the current page when you click on the Import button. If you want the imported pages to appear on a different page, put a check mark in the Insert After Current Page box. Click the Import button when you're finished. Click Ignore if you see a dialog box asking if you want to overwrite existing styles. Place the cursor over the area of the document where you want to place the upper left corner of the page. Your mouse cursor will look like the top left corner of a square. Click on the document and then drag to place it. There may be times when you want design elements that appear on one page to appear on every page in a document. This is especially true if you're creating a website and you want aspects such as the header, footer, and navigation to appear on every page. Instead of having to create the header, footer, and navigation for each individual page, you can create a master page that contains all these common elements. To create a master page, select the page that you want to make a master page by clicking on the page in the Pages panel. Next, right-click on the page. You'll see the Pages panel options. Select Set as Master Page. Now you have a master page. Layers are used on a page. Just as with Photoshop and other editing programs, layers let you organize and group different objects that are part of your design. Each layer can contain vector and bitmap objects as well as text. In addition, you can hide layers so they can't be seen. You can move layers and you can remove objects from different layers. To view the layers on a page, go to the Layers panel. As you move your mouse over your page in the work area, the layer that appears under your mouse will be highlighted in red. We've imported two images. We did this by going to File, Import, and then locating the images on our computer. These images appear in Layer 1 in our Layers panel. The currently selected object is highlighted. As you can see, both objects have the same name. Even if they didn't, as we start to add more objects, we'll want a way to be able to easily identify the object each layer represents. To do that, we can name the objects. To name an object, double-click on the object in the Layers panel, type in a name for the object, and then press Enter. You can also group objects together. To group two or more objects together, click on the Subselection tool in the Select area of the Tools panel. Drag a rectangle around the objects that you want to group. This will select all the objects for your group. When an object is selected, a blue bounding box appears around it. Now both objects are selected. Right-click on one of the objects and select Group. Go to the Layer panel. Looking at the Layer panel, we can see the group of objects that we created, as well as how many objects are in the group. 
You can also name the group to help you identify it. However, you'll want to make sure that you leave the number of objects that are in the group as part of the name. You can rearrange the order that objects appear in the Layers panel by first clicking on the object to select it, and then dragging it upward to move it up higher in the list, or lower to move it lower in the list. You'll see a black bar appear as you drag the object in the Layers panel. This lets you know where the object will be placed when you release your mouse. To add a new layer, click the New Duplicate Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. The new layer appears above the other layers in the Layers panel. You can rename the new layer by double-clicking on it and entering a new name. When you're finished, press Enter. Blending modes are used to decide how two layers blend together. For example, here we have two layers. Only the top layer is visible in our Fireworks document. By going to the Properties panel and clicking on the Blend Mode drop-down menu, we can select a blending method for the two layers. The current blend mode is normal. Now let's try Screen. As you can see, that doesn't blend the two layers too well, so next we can try Luminosity. Now we can try Tint. Take some time to play around with these settings and see what works for you. Now that you've created a new layer, you can move objects from other layers into the new layer. To do this, follow the same steps that you took to rearrange objects in the Layers panel. Click on the object in the Layers panel that you want to move, and then drag it to the new layer. When you lock a layer, you prevent that layer from being moved or edited. To lock a layer, click on the empty box to the left of the layer. A padlock icon will appear in the box. This means that the layer is locked. Earlier in this lesson, we learned how to create master pages. In addition to creating a master page, you can also share layers between pages. When you share layers between pages, you can take a layer that's one page and share it with other pages. To share a layer that's on one page with other pages in your document, select the layer that you want to share, and then click the Menu Options button at the top right corner of the Layers panel. Select Share Layer to Pages from the drop-down menu to specify the pages. Select Share Layer to All Pages to share the layer with all pages in the document. To share layer to pages, use the Add and Remove buttons and add the pages you want to share the layer with. Click the Remove button to exclude pages to share the layer with, then click OK when you're finished. If you've ever visited a website where a button or icon changes appearance when you hover your mouse above it, then you already have a basic understanding of states. Using states, you can show different states of an object, create frame-by-frame -frame animation, and even change the visibility of an object when a mouse hovers over it. Each page in Fireworks automatically has one state. Some documents may never have more than one state, and that's up to you. You can view the different states by going to the States panel. Remember, if you don't see a panel such as the States panel on the right side of the Fireworks window, go to Window in the menu bar and put a check mark beside the panel that you want to view. The first step in creating a rollover effect or animation using states is to add states to the states panel. To duplicate a state, drag state1 to the new duplicate state icon in the bottom right hand corner of the panel. To rename a state, double click on the state and enter a new name for it. Press enter when you're finished. We now have two states in the states panel. Now we're going to make the content in state 1 change in state 2. To do this, go to the layers panel. You can see which state is currently selected. We want to make sure it's the state that we just created. We're going to use the pointer tool in the select area of the tools panel to select the layer. We used a fill color to change the content of the layer. You can go to the layers panel and toggle back and forth between the two states. Since states are an important part of the fireworks workflow, it's important that you only know what they are for the time being. We'll talk more in depth about states, including creating rollover effects and animation, later in this course.